Mathematics and welcome to McGill's instructional video. Last time, I briefly presented our McGill hydraulic B2 for the smallest model, which can be from 0.5 mm2 to 10 mm2 to the biggest model, which can be up to 630 mm2 to the Today, I am with Engineer Jerome to show us how safely and properly use our hydraulic B2. Hello everyone! And let's start with MGY 150 model. This tool can print from 10 mm2 to 150 mm2 terminal logs. Sir Jero, please show us how good that model is. Okay, so this is our MGY 150 hydraulic crimping tool. Let us begin with the parts. First, this is the crimping head, which serves as the die holder. You can see the McGill brand and the model of the tool printed on the top portion. By unlatching this part, you can insert or remove the crimping dies that you want to use. Next, this is the release lever where you need to press every after crimping. This will release the pressure and retract this movable die holder here. And since this tool is hydraulic, this part here serves as the oil cylinder. And when you open this part, you will find the oil bag inside. This is the part that you need to access when you want to refill or replace the hydraulic oil. And lastly, these are the rubber insulated handles which facilitates pumping during the crimping process. Now, let us begin the demonstration. We have prepared here a 2 over 0 crimp plug and a 2 over 0 size wire. We will select the appropriate crimp die from this set of dies which comes as a standard with the tool. Now, to insert the crimp dies on the slot, we just need to slide them in. Okay, make sure that the crimp dies are secured in place and that the crimp head is properly latched. Now, our tool is ready for crimping. Let us insert the strip part of the wire onto the barrel of the crimping lug and place them in between the crimping dies. Remember that when crimping, it is very important to properly size the crimping die based on the size of your crimping lug. Now, as we pump, we will feel a gradual increase on the pressure, but since this tool is hydraulic, it should be alright. When we see that the crimping die finally met at the center of the crimping slot, it signifies that the crimping is already completed. Now, we can press this release lever, and here, this is the finished crimp lock using our MGY 150 hydraulic crimping tool. There you have it! Mukhang madali lang siya, Sir Jerome, ha? Kahit ako, kaya-kaya kong gawin to. Of course, Ma'am Jelly, dahil itong ating MGY 150 hydraulic crimping tool, it only weighs around 3 kilograms. Oh, ang gaan lang pala niya, no? And now, let's move on to our next model, which is MGH 400 Auto. This model can crimp from 15 mm square to 400 mm square terminal logs. Okay, Sir Jerome, please do the honor. Alright, so this is our MGH 400 Auto hydraulic crimping tool. Again, let's first share the parts. This is the C-pipe head, which can be rotated 360 degrees. In here, you will find two buttons, which controls the lock on the die holders. On this part, you will see the McGill brand and the model of the tool. This is the release lever, the oil cylinder, the rubber insulated handles, and the lever lock, which holds this movable lever when not in use. As for the demonstration, we have prepared another set of 2 over 0 crimp plug and 2 over 0 size wire. We will select the appropriate crimping die from this set of dies provided as a set for the tool. In order to insert these crimping dies on the slot, we need to press the lock button, slide in the crimping die, release the button to lock the crimping die in place. This is to ensure that the crimping die is in the proper position and they are aligned during the crimping process. And there, our crimping tool is ready to use. Let us now insert the crimping lock with the wire in between the crimping dies. Release this lever lock and start pumping. One of the good things about this crimping tool is that when the force required to crimp the lock is met or fulfilled, it automatically releases and retracts the movable die holder. And here, this is 
our finished screen plug using our MGH 400 auto hydraulic printing tool. Wow, amazing, Sir Jerome. Pero mong mahirap na to, ah. Of course, hindi, ma'am, kasi katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, this is a hydraulic tool, so hindi siya ganun kahirap ipump, hindi ganun kahirap mag-print. Ah, ganun pala yun. And now, for our last but not the least model is our biggest printing tool. Sa laki po nito, the head is separated from the pump. Presenting MGY QH630 model. This tool can print from 150mm2 to 630mm2 terminal lots. Okay, Sir Jerome? Thank you, Samuel. Okay, so as mentioned by Ma'am Jelly, this crimping tool comes in two pieces. We have the hydraulic pump and the crimping tool head. Now, let's first talk about the parts of the crimping tool head. This is the crimping head which contains the die holders. You can find the McGill brand and the model of the tool on this part. And this is the female connector which is used to connect to the hydraulic pump. Now, as for the hydraulic pump, this is the pump handle, the oil cylinder, the pressure release knob, and the hose which contains the male connector at the end. Now, the first thing that we need to do is to connect the male and female connectors. There. And you can fasten them in place using this coupler. Alright, as for the demonstration, we will use a 300 mcm crimping lug and a 300 mcm size wire. We will choose the appropriate crimping die from the set of dies which comes as a standard with the tool. Now, to insert these crimping dies on the slot, we just need to slide them in until we hear a slight creaking sound. This will tell that the crimping die is in the proper position. And now, our tool is ready for crimping. Let us insert the crimp plug with the wire in between the crimping dies. Set this pressure release knob in off position and start pumping. Surely this tool looks big but when it comes to pumping, it's as easy as the MDH 400 Auto. Now, when you see that the crimping die has finally met at the center of the crimping slot, you can stop pumping and rotate this release knob in on direction. And here, this is our finished crimp lug using our MGYQH630 hydraulic crimping tool. Wow, looks simple and easy. Pero hindi ko na susubukan, Sir Jerome, eh? I just have some questions lang po. Okay. First, what are the common problems or concerns that we normally encounter when it comes to our hydraulic crimping tools? Usually sa oil, over time or sa kakagamit, nagkakaroon ng tagas. Normal lang ito ay konti-konti lang. But when it comes to the point na ayaw na niyang mag-pump, it means that we need to replace the oil bag or refill the hydraulic oil if okay pa naman yung oil bag. Ah, dapat pala ganun. Um, anong klaseng oil bag dapat natin bilhin dito and where can we buy it? It is available locally and we are using the hydraulic oil number 15. Wow, ang dali lang pala, no? What if bago yung unit ko pero may oil leak? Uh, the most probable cause would be the ceiling ring and we just need to replace it. The good thing about this uh, hydraulic crimping tools of McGill is it comes with extra ceiling ring when you purchase it. Nice ah! Let's not say Jerome Ramis, let's not tanong na pala okay. na What if yung baharal ko nagkaroon ng ears and wings after full cream? Bakit ka? The reasons could be over crimping or a mismatch between the size of the crimping die and the crimping lug. That is why I have said before, it is very important to properly size the crimping die based on the size of the crimping lug. Oh, ganun pala yun. Got it! And that's all for today's video, Chris Fanatics. Thank you, Sir Jerome, for the so so kind man para sa araw na ito. If you have comments or questions, please comment down below or DM us. For more information on our products, Please follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Sana po marami kayong natutunan. Thank you for watching and see you again soon. Bye! Bye, -bye.